made it to Whistler Village. Hey everyone, so we're checked into the hotel and I showered, so I'm gonna give a little room tour even though it's a mess. So there's our stuff, two beds, there's Mitch, TV. There was no like king size beds available, so we got or, two doubles. Or view. <laughs> our view, our beautiful view of the dumpster, <laughs> bright green. <laughs> it's okay, we're not gonna be staring out the window, so whatever. And then here's the bathroom I just showered so there it is very deep tub like that's the room so now we're gonna get food because we're starving so being a tourist looking at the map here it's nice Mitch doesn't have to drive all day so he can relax mm. we're just gonna walk around the village stroll we're staying over here and yeah we'll see what we end up doing so cool Now we're at a restaurant. Got a margarita. And we tried the classic Corona with lime. If you can get the lime. You have in. any brew you want. As long as it's a Corona. <laughs> Says the Mr. Diesel. <laughs> Cheers. Shalom. Yum. Nachos have arrived. Yum. Whistler, guys. I think Whistler was definitely something t really, really cool to check out. Um, it reminded me a lot of Blue Mountain, if anyone's from Ontario, but like a bigger version, obviously. Um, it was really, really cool. Um, obviously, we want to do mountain biking, but we were trying to figure out what timing. Again, it would take a whole day, so unfortunately we couldn't do that. But it was still really cool to experience it and to know what's around. It was, it was overall a really cool experience. But now, the choice is yours on what you want to do next. So for the next stop, do you want to check out Vancouver, like the Capilano Suspension Bridge, Stanley Park, or do you want to take the ferry and go to Vancouver Island? I don't know, pretty good decisions. Make sure to pick or else YouTube's going to pick for you. Up to you.